Wouldn't it be exciting to open this up? Have you ever heard the myth that removing the cover improves the sound? Caution, high temperature. Could it be that this unit runs very hot? Today, we're testing a model. Everyone loves the AccuPhase Integrated Class A Amplifier, E700. Every time we test an AccuPhase Integrated M, someone will always ask, how should we choose between AccuPhase Class A and Class AB Integrated Amps? How do you choose? There are two Class A Integrated Amps from the brand, the anniversary model E800S and the E700 we're testing this time. So which one should you go for? In this episode, besides testing the sound, I hope to help you find the answer. Hello everyone, I'm Ken Wong. Welcome to Feversound.com. Today we're hands-on with the brand new AccuPhase E700 a newly launched Class A integrated amplifier. Before the official introduction, a quick reminder if you want to see more audiovisual equipment tests, AV tutorials, and the latest market news, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, feversound.com, and click the bell next to the channel so you get notified when we upload a new video. Unboxing. Accuface boxes always look like this, very elegant. Even unboxing is a kind of enjoyment. Feels familiar. The remote control feels great. The included power cable. Everything sounds normal. This unit is reasonably liftable. Caution. High temperature. Could it be that this unit runs very hot? That doesn't look great. Let's remove the cover first. Have you heard the myth that removing the cover improves the sound? All right, let's look at the rear panel. IEC power socket with grounding. There's a panel here, wonder what it's covering? Um, above that are two sets of large speaker terminals for A and B. The really massive kind, the voltage is 220V, not 230V. Made in Japan, power consumption is 220W. Wow, that's powerful. There are two expansion card slots on top. One gives you the option to install a deck. The other lets you add a phono stage. Once installed, this machine basically becomes an all-in-one system. All right, next is input and output. There are two sets of balanced stereo analog inputs and one set of balanced preamp outputs. The phase for the preamp output is one ground, two cold, three hot. This cannot be changed. Then there's a power amp in, which allows it to be used as a power amp only. You can select the pin configuration here because when meshed with different preamps, the phase might differ. The single ended terminals also have pre out and power amp in. That's the basic setup. Five sets of single ender stereo analog inputs. All right, that's all complete. Okay, let's look at the front panel. Actually for AccuPhase gear, the high-end models have a front cover. Opening this cover is such a joy. It looks beautiful. Volume knob on the right. The attenuator mutes the volume to near silence with a single press. There's a 6.3 mm TRS headphone output. On this side are the power and input selector buttons. And in the middle section, speaker A, B selector, bass and treble adjustments. And a row of buttons in the middle. Below that, that MC, MM, filter, MC load. All of these only work if you install the option cards the display button above is just for turning off the light and screen. The comp button is actually for boosting bass when listening at low volumes, you get more low end. This is the phase inverse switch. I pressed it just now too, because the balance input phase is one ground, two cold, three hot. So I needed to invert the phase. That's pretty much it. And this is the class A version. So all AccuPhase class A amplifiers use traditional LED digital displays. Speaking of AccuPhase, every year the company updates their integrated amplifier lineup, split into Class A, B and Class A models. 
there are only two Class A models. The Anniversary Edition E800S and the E700 we're testing today. The E700 is the new version of the E650 Class A integrated amplifier. Acuface is a very traditional manufacturer, so the new models don't look very different from the old ones. But if you look closely, you'll notice a gold ring around the input selector and volume knobs. That gold ring signifies a new model. Let's open the chassis and check what specs have been improved. The E700 continues to use Acuphasers dual mono symmetrical design. In the center is a large high efficiency toroidal transformer shielded by metal cover reduced interference. As for the capacitor, it's equipped with a newly developed pair of large 56,000 mUF filter capacitors. According to the company, these newly designed capacitors provide more stable, cleaner, and faster power supply to the amplifier circuitry. The E700's volume control continues to use the company's AEVA. Aquaphase Analog Variegain Amplifier, a very high-end, fully balanced circuit with independent left and right channels. Simply put, traditional volume controls usually amplify first, then attenuate, which inevitably introduces distortion, but AVA adjusts volume by controlling current, the signal path for volume control only amplifies it, does not attenuate, which greatly reduces distortion. It also incorporates the company's ANCC Accuphase Noise and Distortion Cancelling Circuit. Very straightforward. It detects noise and distortion from the volume control and cancels them out with an inverted current signal. Right, let's look at the power output. The E700 outputs 35W at 8 omega and 70W at 4 omega. Compared to the previous E650's 30W and 60W, that's a 16% increase in output. The E700's noise voltage is 11% lower than the E650, down to 29.6 mV. Signal to noise ratio reaches up to 103 dB. As for output transistors, it uses four pairs of MOSFETs in a balanced push pull configuration. Compared to the E650, which only has three pairs of balanced MOSFETs, the output impedance is even lower. And the driving power is stronger. Lower impedance also means the damping factor will be significantly improved. So the E700 guarantees a damping factor of up to 1000. 1000. That's already on par with the flagship Power Amp A80. Also, as you saw earlier, this unit has two expansion slots, which can be equipped with the latest DAC60 digital card. And the AD60 Phono stage card, if you don't have over-the-top demands, this setup is more than enough. Dimensions are the same as the previous generation. Weight is 24.9 kilograms. Right now, the room temperature is 24.5 degrees Celsius. Acuphase Class A amps do run hot, but not excessively hot. Why do I say that? Because a thermal scan of the internal heatsink shows 50 degrees Celsius, but it doesn't feel like 50 degrees Celsius to the touch. The top panel measures 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. The front panel is 30 degrees Celsius. So when using this unit, you must leave space on top for ventilation. Now let's test out the Accuface E700 together. It's definitely a great machine. Um, so I've matched it with some great gear. First is the Rune Core, which is the Rockner Wavelight server. It's right over there and uh, it's already part of our reference setup. Or DAC I specially borrowed. The WISE unit I've been really wanting to hear. Their brand new flagship DAC, the Helios. This one is also rune ready. So basically it just needs a network cable to work. Then its analog output feeds directly into the Acuphase E700, which in turn drives the Magical A3 directly. I've actually tried pairing Acuphase with Magical myself. Uh, some of my friends have tried it too, and I've heard it as well. It's actually a pretty good match, but maybe it's a bit different from what most people would expect. Some may feel it doesn't pair that well, that it needs to be paired with something else to work. Now here's a recording for you to hear.
right, let's talk about the sound. The sound from the E700 is incredibly refined and delicate, extremely smooth. The music flows smoothly, yet remains full of layers. The entire circuit has extremely low distortion, which allows it to preserve all the details. It achieves the level of detail reproduction that a truly high-end integrated amp should deliver layering, transparency, soundstage, openness, everything is delivered with crystal clarity. The tonal balance also has a touch of sweetness, elegant and silky smooth. Acuface has its own unique charm in tonal tuning. If you like it, there's no other choice. Of course, if you don't like it, you just don't. On the other hand, this unit has a damping factor as high as 1000, so you can imagine its level of control. It's truly outstanding. When driving demanding bass drivers, the control and release are very clean and precise. But what I think it does best is that despite its strong control, it doesn't become over damp. The sound still retains a natural sense of expansion. After all this praise, what are its weaknesses? I always mention a product's shortcomings, and this unit is no exception. What I want to say is, Class A is its strength, but at the same time, it's also a limitation. Although it outputs 70 watts at 4 ohms, ultimately, power is still just an objective number. When paired with speakers that have relatively low sensitivity, for example, below 85 dB, or if you're in a relatively large space, say more than 200 square feet, with a longer listening distance, or if you like listening at higher volumes, or under certain extreme sonic scenarios. This output may eventually reach its limit, but this kind of issue is unlikely with high power class A, B amplifiers. To be more specific, if you switch to the Acuface E5000, then this power limitation no longer applies. At this point, I really want to discuss with you two questions every Acuface integrated M user will face. First, when should you go for Class A? And when should you go for Class AB? Let me be very honest with you in this video. If you enjoy loud volume, impactful, and close-up sound, then Class AB will be to your advantage. If you usually listen at moderate volume and enjoy savoring your music, then Class A will probably make you happier. My feeling is that Acuface's Class AB integrated amps are voiced to sound more exciting and energetic, suitable for most music lovers. But these Class A integrated amps are specifically aimed at demanding audiophiles. There's also something else that might be important. If you really like analog VU meters, then you can only choose Acuface's Class A, B amplifiers because Acuface's Class A integrated amps only come with LED displays. Alright, second question. How to choose between the two Class A integrated amps from Acuface, the E700 and E800S? To put it simply, of course, the more expensive E. 800S is better because it has high output power and it's an anniversary edition. Everything about it is a little better and the sound quality is naturally a notch higher. But to be honest, its chassis height and size aren't suitable for all users to place easily and the price is also higher, which not every consumer can afford. Relatively speaking, the E700's control, detail and resolution are already very well done across the board. Its functions and connectivity are nearly top tier so if you judge by value for money, then this E700 we've tested actually scores a bit higher. That's it for this hands-on test. If you're interested, check the video description to see the price and where you can listen to it. That's the end of this episode's test. If you like our videos, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. And after subscribing, click the bell icon next to the channel so you get notified as soon as new videos are out. Aside from this unit, we've also reviewed other types of audio gear recently. Do you like this unit? If so, keep watching. That's it for this episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.